Hi, I'm Greg Berninger, Ghent Town Historian. Today's trip into Ghent history will be wishing a very special 100th birthday to the Ghent Volunteer Fire Company. Now, before Ghent had a fire company, there was the devastating fire of 1923. And out of the ashes of that fire, the Ghent Volunteer Fire Company was formed. And the fire began right around here, and the absence is still here next to what came later, the Navarra House, and today it's that nice stucco-sided apartment building across from the Bartlett House. It was the morning of September 12, 1923, in the heart of Ghent's business district that the fire broke out. The wind took it north to consume not only the store and home that it, was, that it started in, but it consumed the beautiful Ghent Hotel, another store, and a fourth building that housed a barber, cobbler, blacksmith, and a woodworker. Two stories, a hotel, and another building with several different trades in it. All of that burned that morning, September 12, 1923. There was $75,000 in lost property. In today's money, that's $1.3 million dollars of loss. At the time, the nearest firefighting apparatus was in the village of Chatham, and the water facilities here in Ghent were not good. Um, there was really almost no way to stop that fire. Finally, the Chatham Fire Department did come down once they got the call, and Philmont came over, and the fire was put out, but not until it consumed a great deal of what was here. It was the most final and dramatic piece of evidence the people in Ghent who had been calling for a fire department needed. I'll drop a few pictures in here of the buildings that stood here and also a couple pictures of the aftermath of the fire. And so, in 1923, the Ghent Volunteer Fire Company was founded by 19 men. They went up to Valencia and they purchased a, what was called a, a chemical unit. And that was a, it came after the hand pump. And it was a device that could combine soda and acid to create pressure which could shoot the water. Of course, after that comes the mechanical pumps which are still in use today. And that chemical unit was mounted on a donated used Dodge pickup truck and I imagine that worked well enough for a few years but in 1928 uh, the Ghent Fire Company raised enough money from donations a few people who had left Ghent made their fortune donated money back and they raised five thousand six hundred dollars to buy a 1928 American La France fire truck which of course to this day is still rolled out for parades and lives up in the nice little red building next to the firehouse. And I'll drop a couple pics in of the American La France shortly. Every fire truck, of course, needs a home. Ghent needed a firehouse. And the first firehouse was built right here, right next to the pond in front of the current firehouse. Why don't I go ahead and drop a couple of those pics in along with photos of the 28 La France. So even after the truck was purchased and the firehouse was built, the Ghent Fire Company kept raising money. And for as long as they could, for a few decades, they prided themselves on being self-sufficient. Now, they certainly put the fun in fundraising. Now, everything they did um, was really, really a part of the Ghent community, and it brought people together. So it's more than just putting your hand out so we can save you in case your house burns, as if, you know, that would have been enough, probably. But the events they held were an essential part of the fabric of community life. In 1933, they held the eighth annual ball of the Ghent Volunteer 
Fire Company. It was up at the Klein Kill Club Hall in Chatham. And according to this newspaper article, no effort was spared to make this year's event the same highly enjoyable affair as in the previous years. Skipping to the end of the article, any night that the Ghent firemen turn out to play the host can be counted on as gloom proof. It's said to be a jolly time with a jolly bunch. Ladies will be admitted without charge. Along with the dances, uh, the Ghent uh, Fire Company put on shows in what was then the Town Hall, now it's the Ghent Playhouse to raise money. And for many years, I think the high point of the Ghent social season, season summer season of fun, was the Firefighters Carnival. And it was held right on the grounds here behind the firehouse. And it is no exaggeration to say that carnival was world class. Ghent was the home of the Fecto family acrobat troupe. They traveled all over putting on shows. Ghent was the home of Adele Nelson's trained elephants. They traveled all over the world putting on shows. And of course, the Ghent band played every night and was the set the soundtrack for all of it. And there were games uh, held to raise money. And for many years, the Ghent Firemen's Carnival was a highlight of the social season. In 1954, the carnival, a four-day event, raised $5,700. In today's money, that is $64,000. So imagine today, a carnival being held and raising $64,000. So you can tell what an important event it was to the fire company and how, pe how people would have come from all over to enjoy the world-class entertainment. So besides the shows, the dances, the carnival, the fire department has long had clam bakes, and many of you remember the annual auction. Again, these were, not only was the fire company to literally save the fabric of the community, but they were a part of it, bringing people together to talk and bond, and the, the part of life that is so important to Ghent and really every town. Anyone who recalls any of those events, which many people still alive do, they will get the widest smile on their face when they think about it. The types of calls that the fire company responds to, the costs, the training has all changed. Um, now it takes so much training and so much time to manage a, such a complex organization. A lot of those fundraisers have are still uh, in people's, only in people's memories. And of course now with trucks costing a half a million dollars or more, and just to outfit one firefighter is over $5,000, not counting the Scott Air Pack. A lot of taxpayer money does go to it, as it should. What's more important than a volunteer fire company? And again, I'll emphasize the volunteer, because the one thing that has not changed is the people who volunteer, the ladies auxiliary, the firefighters themselves, running into situations where any other person would be running away from for safety, they're coming to our aid when things are going the worst for us. Uh, last year, the fire department responded to, I think, from memory serves me, about 120 calls, varying from structure fires, to car accidents, even to false alarms. All of them very important. And since 1923, knock on wood, there has been no devastating fire, no doubt, thanks in large part to the Ghent Volunteer Fire Company. So on behalf of everyone in Ghent and neighboring towns that you continue to respond to calls to, uh, thank you Ghent Volunteer Fire Company for 100 years of devotion, happy birthday, and here's to another 100 years of keeping us safe.